Hey everyone, welcome back. We're salmon fishing. I was supposed to make a bit of an intro to this video, but <clears throat> we got a, but a bit sidetracked with things. I had to fix my motor. There's a bunch of uh, uncertainties involved. Sorry for the wind, it's windy as heck. But motor's running again, and uh, yeah, happy days. We're fishing. Got the bottom bouncer on with an FST, and Kaylee's running a float on the Thompson River. So me and my dad came here last weekend. I didn't film any of it because um, the motor was screwed. But we ended up catching a couple. So now me and Kaylee are back and we're camping overnight and uh, gonna see if we can get some today and tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll uh, update you when we're when we're into some. Okay, peace. Stopped at a little beach for a pre pee break. It's freaking pretty nice. Not bad. Nice white sand. But we're gonna move spots and go up river a bit more, I think, and see if we can find a better spot. We're seeing salmon jump everywhere. So, they're around, and the guy below us, that's still out there, he was catching them like crazy, so. Salmon Slayer. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you out there. All right, we are on to the fish on the tiny center pin rod. It's rated six to eight, 10 pounds, and we got a nice one. Just waiting for Kaylee to get off the phone so I can pass the camera to her. Oh. Uh, did you see it? It was a pretty good size. Yeah, it was. It's not even that bad on this rod. Obviously a bit light of a rod. First cast at the new spot. Can see color? guys so we went in for a little bit we got that one and uh, had a little bit of something to eat and just chilled for a bit and now we're back at the same spot and there's salmon just surfacing everywhere right now so we're gonna get into some more I think before the night is done so stay tuned sunset action. The fish are going crazy right now. Like everywhere just splashing. Yeah, I've never seen 
ever seen it like this. It's crazy. On sunset? All behind over here. See so as soon as I point. Oh, I just got one there too. Yeah, right in the sunset. It's wild. I've never seen such an active place and with such big splashes. Anywho, I need to get my rod out. Get a line out. Oh, he agreed. Oh, so did they. And them. <laughs> we got fish on. on the protein pancakes. Got one, dad's into one now. Where's this guy? Little eight pounder. Bam. Dad's into a good one. Huh? Nope. I'm done. I'm gonna bring it forward to Cody. Mine was a male, Cody? Yeah. Oh, no, you don't want the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Is that in the way for you? Yeah, it's a big buck. Well, he's not happy about the boat, Gary. See what we can do here? Nope. <laughs> Where'd you get him? Right in the tail out there? The tail out right there. Right behind these guys. He's a decent size. He's way bigger than Mars. You got him? Nope. 
Hold the line. Oh no, I think it's a doe. Where? Right there, it's flying over right there. You hear him? Yeah. Which up here? That's what a kingfisher is? I lost my shoe, oh, Gary. Oh my god. Just take him off up there. I need it for the grip. I just keep losing it on the anchor thing. Totally on status. Yeah, that's it. Oh, fuck, man. He's they got some good power when they want to, eh? They just died. Yeah. Look at the big mark on her head. They'll come up that far side too, eh? Fish number, I don't know, like five. Sam number five. God, this guy's heavy. Holy fuck, he's bending the rod good. He's big. Look at him. Big fuck. Holy fuck, he's big. Right in the top of his head. Are you bringing them to your dad? Or are you bringing them to someone? Bring them to me. I'll just suck here. Oh. Got all the gold on it. He looks like he's been beat up. Oh, yeah. Look at his fin. Yeah, the dorsal fin. Yeah. He wasn't even hooked in there good either. No. Don't let him you got bounce the, out. Okay, you got the bonk. Oh, okay, after a massive grind, KP is into one. All day yesterday, nothing. Yeah, he's not even taking any. His drag's tight. You him yet? Nope. Oh, I saw a little flash. Salmon. There he goes. There it goes. There he is. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. It's a cromer. Careful, 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 careful. He's freaking out. Bring him over here. Grab him. I think Cody's gonna. Yeah, turn his head. It's another doe. That's your, uh... There it is. Nice one, babe. And just when he's getting cranky, oh he gets one on. I'm looking out there trying to... Look at the rod now. Can't see color. Oh, that's a salmon. Going right for the anchor. You don't like the boat. Oh, huh? you're good. Oh, look at the air pushed out. See all the air coming up? Oh. Are you bringing it to your dad? Oh, don't lose it, Gary. Yeah, I'm gonna need help with this one. Just drag it to me. I'll grab your line when it's time. It's a nice size, I think. I don't think he's done yet, though. <laughs> Holy crap. So what, we gotta get one more? Yeah. <laughs> we got three row bags left. Kaylee, get out there, man. I will. Don't worry about stuff. You're on here. Knock over them. Oh, you're filming? Yeah. I'll knock over them. Okay, you need to help catch this fish. <laughs> Oh, 
she is. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a big buff. Careful, Gary. He's trying to take you out. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Did you lose your line or? No, it popped out. We've got to gut it, love. Okay. Can we just gut it through then? I just want a bunch of clay sand all over it. It's got a little rigor mortis. What you got, Cody? Yeah, we will. Is it? There's a lot of carcasses you gotta clean up then around here. Yeah, we're not the only ones that got them here. Okay, so we ended up with six today. And we are bagged. It's freaking hot out. Look at me, I look like crap. I'm sweating. Anyways, we're uh, gonna start the track home. Home time, boys. And uh, yeah, so that was a pretty good time. Season's gonna end next Thursday, so that'll be it for us for this year. But we got some good ones, and uh, yeah. Anyways, subscribe, stay tuned. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Okay, we made it home. Just filleting all these fish up. Pretty good day. My mom and dad don't have a filleting knife, so I'm filleting the ones of theirs for them and we'll bring it to them. And then they're gonna smoke some for us. Yeah, those whites, we're gonna get smoked. Obviously the nicest reds I caught. Yeah, that one's a really nice color. You got a little farmer's tan going on from yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was hot. Got me good. I'm not the best fish filet. So or at English. Yeah, so don't judge. This is after a very long day and no sleep to top it off. Yeah, got woken up by the trains all night at our camp squat. Barbecue. 
blobs. One more fish and we're done. While Cody does this, I've been on watering duty and I haven't even finished yet. So two of them were does and the rest were bucks. Yeah, so Cody's... got a lot of row. Cody's and dad was raking in the fish. Yeah. Cody's mom was the first one to catch one though. Yeah, she called it too. Yep. Yes. Okay. I have to deep in and deep bone the rest of them. Fin check. This is the part I really suck at. Well, this is the part that's difficult because there's so many bones in a salmon. Yeah, I don't I don't ever bother taking out the shoulder ones because I usually just take them out as I'm eating. Unless he's cooking it for me, then he'll take them out with yeah, tweezers. I'll take them out when I'm about to cook them. Why do you do that? Because Kayla hates bones and all her stuff. He's not wrong. The belly out a little bit. That one's ready to get chunked up. Alright, Cody's in the process putting everything in the freezer. Vacuum seal. <laughs> what are they called? Yeah, freezer bags. Freezer vacuum bags. Seal. Vacuum seal freezer bags. So some of this is going to his parents, the ones they caught, these yeah. whites. We're going to send these ones over to my mom to smoke them too. If they would stay, like, come on. Unreal. Boys. When you think your face isn't dirty, it always fucking is. Just washing it. Anyways, <laughs> after three long hours, we're finally done. We ran out of freezer bags, as you guys saw, so we had to kind of improvise. But the stuff that we're putting in this kind of stuff, we're just going to eat first so it doesn't get freezer burnt. And the rest of this, like, holy crap. So this is all smoker stuff. This is all just for eating whatever. You can candy it, whatever we want to do. But it's, this stuff's just, I don't know what you guys call it, but we call them white. And obviously because their flesh is white. They're just greasier. They don't taste as good. But... This stuff's a lot better. It's not as dark orange as you'd get it from the ocean. These ones, that one was pretty fresh. Somewhat, but yeah, those ones taste a lot better than the whites. And got three bags of row. I think there's four in this one, four in this one, and two in this one. So we're we're good on salmon for a bit. Yeah, we are gonna be giving a lot of it away too. Not at all. But this and a white tail this fall would be perfect. So yeah, tomorrow I gotta cure all that row. Just gonna keep it in the fridge or whatever overnight and cure it. I'll probably put all the pro cure in it and then just let it soak in it overnight, roll it before bed, 
And then, yeah, after work tomorrow, I'll uh, lay it all out and dry it all. And I'll have to get more freezer bags so I can freezer bag each, each scheme too. So, yeah, tons of work to do. This ain't for the faint of heart harvesting stuff. Maybe if you go get one fish, it's not so bad, but six? It's a lot of work. And now, I have to bring all that to my mom's place, and we're gonna smoke it all, which is even more work. And then probably bring some smoke stuff back, freezer bag it, and chuck it in the freezer too, so. Yeah, it's endless. But, it's worth it, because it's good organic food that you get from nature and you actually work for it so it's a bit more satisfying when it uh, feeds your belly so yeah anyways everybody thanks for watching that was a grind today I feel like crap so still got a bunch of stuff to do still got to put a cover on the boat um, label this stuff with at least the date so I don't lose track of how old stuff is if it doesn't all get eaten this winter which it probably will and yeah get some stuff ready for the work week anyways catch you later thanks for watching subscribe